Hey, Miguel. What are you doing? Hey, everybody, it's Jamie. And today's video is going to be a June favorites slash haul of things that I've got slash favorites of the first week of July. Um, sorry I haven't been on YouTube lately. I've started working and I haven't figured out how to handle work and YouTube at the same time because my schedule kind of constantly changes and yeah. So let's get started. Since I've been talking about work and um, if you guys don't know, I work at Six Flags Magic Mountain in Valencia, California. I went in to look for some stuff for my brother because he wanted to, to see if they had um, some Marvin Martian stuff. And I was in the gift shop and I get a 30% discount at Six Flags. And so I saw this and it was so cute that I had to buy it because he's one of my new favorite superheroes and it is The Flash! Isn't he the cutest? They had like one of one, he was like this big in comparison. Um, but he was a keychain and I'm like, oh, that's not as fun. And he's big and round and his eyes are so cute. Since we're talking about superheroes and things that I obviously like, the Universal here in LA is getting a Harry Potter section, right? And in the front of the park, they have a feature presentation store, which for the longest time was just Minions because that was their newest ride and their newest thing. But now it is switched to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So of course I went in and immediately wanted to buy everything. Absolutely everything. So since it was the first time and I just had to buy something, so I bought a chocolate frog it is gigantic like look at like the frog literally it was huge and I already ate it so I can't show you um, but I absolutely love the packaging but the chocolate was so good chocolate was hard enough to cut it in half but it like melts in your mouth it's so good so if you're gonna buy a $10 chocolate definitely buy the chocolate frogs and it comes with wizarding cards like legit wizarding cards like in the movies and the games. This one is Albus Dumbledore and it has like all his like little facts on the back. So I'm hoping that like once the Wizarding World starts you know going that they set up like where you can bring in like if you have multiples of a card you can trade them in for other cards like let's say I had like five Dumbledores I could trade four of those in and get a Harry Potter or a Ron Weasley, you know, like a trading card system because no one wants to be stuck with more than one Dumbledore or more than almost one of anything. Except maybe Fred Weasley. I would like to be stuck with more than one Fred Weasley. And since we're talking about Harry Potter, for my good grades this year and I've been dying for it forever, my parents bought me the Weasley wand set. This set comes with Fred's wand and George's wand, and they're beautiful. Um, and it also comes with this really cool stand, which is amazing. Um, it has the little W's on the top, and then it also has the two W's down there. And it's a nice, heavy wooden stand. This is really nice. I should probably... My room collects so much dust. Um... But it's the coolest thing ever because Fred and George are definitely, um, well Fred's definitely my favorite. I love the Weasley family in general. This is George's wand. Um, so it's really cool to have like replicas of their wands and this one's Fred's. I always loved his handle but um, of course I had to, you know, do some foolish wand waving because I can. And I actually really like George's handle but I love the look of Fred. So like if we could like combine Fred's wand with George's handle, I think that would be my ultimate wand. So the next few items are from World Market and I actually, they're not for me. Um, I bought them for my friend Puppet because her birthday is over the summer and I'm actually going to see her. I think it's before her birthday or is it after? 
I don't remember, but World Market has the coolest stuff, and she loves elephants, so I found this really cool elephant bowl. Um, I should probably take the price sticker off of that. I don't know if... I think he's like meant to be like a cereal bowl or something like that, but um, I thought even if she doesn't like eat out of him, because he's dishwasher safe, which is pretty good considering he has all these hanging off parts, but um, I thought he'd be really cool for like trinkets and things like necklaces, earrings, sticky notes, uh, and I love his little stumpy leg. And I also picked up a pair of this for Puppet and a pair of this for Tina. And it's this really nice pair of wooden chopsticks. They were only $2. And they look beautiful. So, um, both of them love to eat sushi and eat with chopsticks. So, I bought some of those. And then, I mean, you can't go out, go without a chopstick rest. And this one looks like an origami swan. And me and Puppet and Tina all love origami and to do origami. So, I'm like, I have to get the chopstick rest that looks like... Of Hipper Swan, and he was only 99 cents from World Market. And then, um, while I went to a training, my mom went and browsed around, I think it's Steinmart, which really isn't that popular in Southern California, at least where I'm at. So, um, a lot of times we don't go in there, we don't really find anything. But she went in there and she found me this metal pineapple, which I actually seen, um, Gabby, who's Velvet Ghost on YouTube, she has a pineapple kind of similar, but it's a lot bigger and it's just a decoration. Whereas this one is a jar. And it's kind of heavy, not too heavy, but it's a jar. And my mom found it on sale for like five bucks. Another thing, which is more of a monthly favorite because I didn't actually buy it, is my Orange Candy Choppers tank top. My dad recently went to New York and went by there. And I love this tank top. So comfy. And it's Orange County Choppers. Can't go wrong with that. I've had my pair of Nike running shoes for a few years now, and my feet just don't like them. I get blisters really easy if I walk too long in them, which kind of defeats the purpose of having walking shoes. Um, my parents have always had really good luck with the brand Asics, so I thought I'd check them out, and I was researching what's best for Zumba, and they said cross-training shoes. So I went on Amazon, because we have an Amazon Prime account and I found these beautiful things. They are bright orange and mint. Um, the bottom is white, but what can you do? And they're super, super lightweight, just like my Nikes. Um, the only thing, I haven't worn them yet, I still have the tags on. Um, the only thing I'm slightly concerned about is because they have two elastic bands in here but that's supposed to help to keep your foot from sliding back and forth when you're doing back and forth motions, so like in CrossFit and Zumba. Um, and I heard they do stretch out over time, so I may just have to give them a chance. If not, then I was reading a lot in the comments and reviews and stuff, and a lot of people said they just cut them off and they're the best shoes ever. So either way, I decided to keep them, and they're beautiful. And I honestly can't wait to wear them. Okay, so I recently went into H&M this weekend, and, of course, there's a ton of stuff in there, and I'm always on the hunt for shorts because I go through shorts, like, I'll keep them forever until they're basically falling apart, but I eventually do have to throw them out, which I actually threw my beautiful black ones out because they were too stringy and they were getting too short. Um, and so I walked in to H&M and I saw these. Which I actually saw them, they have um, like a ready orange color. And I'm not really into like super ready orange, but um, they had blue ones, but they only had one and it was a small. And so I found these and they actually go up to an extra large, which is perfect. Um, and they kind of, they're really lightweight, so they're perfect for California weather. And they're super comfortable. They have nice sized pockets, which is what I'm always looking for because. I mean, I could own an entire store of pocket list shorts, but I don't know why the world thinks women don't need pockets. We need pockets for things when we don't want to take our purse in, we just want to take our phone and like 20 bucks and go. Um, another thing that I found in H&M that I'm not planning on keeping, I'm planning on giving it to my YT homie, are these fry sticky notes. They're the coolest thing. They're like each individual like 
sticky notes, and they're fries. We both love fries, so I could not resist picking them up. And I think they were kind of expensive, but for her birthday, anything goes. Another thing I picked up from Walmart that I just happened to see as I was browsing around is this whale notebook. How cute. And it's finally something whales that is not in the color pink. I don't know why, but everything they do is always in pink. I don't want pink whales. I want blue whales, green, orange, red, almost any color besides pink. Something I recently bought. I recently bought Big Hero 6. And it's a monthly favorite because I've been obsessed with Baymax. I just, he's my favorite little Zoom Zoom character to play on the app. Um, I saw a beanie in Hot Topic that I thought was the cutest and it just had his like, it was a white beanie with his face. And I just, everything Baymax, I'm just like, yes! And speaking of Hot Topic, I recently got a new wallet. And it is the Hogwarts Express 9 3 quarters wallet from Hot Topic. It's beautiful. It fits perfectly in my small brown purse that I always carry with me. Um, and I like that it has tons of card slots because my other Harry Potter wallet did not. Um, my cash does stick out a bit and I don't know if that's because I'm not shoving it all the way to the bottom or what. Um, the only thing though, it doesn't have a change slot so my change is just kind of hanging out in there. Um, so if I ever open it upside down, all my change is going to spill over, all over the floor. But to me... <gasps> Ooh! There's another pocket right there. I didn't know that. That's cool! And I don't know if you guys know this, but this week on Discovery Channel is Shark Week. So, naturally, I went into Lush and bought the Shark Fin Soap. Now this is just, I think it's just a regular seaweed soap with a plastic fin on top, but it helps raise awareness about how people are killing sharks for shark fin soup, and then disregard the rest of the shark. Um, there's a whole thing, I'll link it below to, to Lush's website and you can read all about it, but I love the cause, and I love the soap, and it smells amazing. Okay, uh, this is definitely a monthly favorite because we've had this for a while, and it is the show Green Acres. If you guys have parents like my parents, we watched TV Land all the time because it was a bunch of shows they watched from back in their heyday and Green Acres has definitely been one of my favorites. Um, we recently started re-watching season one and it's amazing. It's so funny. Ava Gabor, who plays Lisa, her makeup, it's hilarious because her makeup, I swear, is what's in style right now. Like the nice winged eyeliner, the beautiful eyeshadow, and like half the outfits she wears are so beautiful and yet hilariously out of place in Green Acres. Um, and it's great. Oliver Douglas um, is hilarious. He's played by Eddie Albert. Um, and it's basically about this guy. He's a lawyer, but he's always wanted to be a farmer. And so one day, um, he decides to buy the Haney place in Hooterville and him and his wife Lisa leave their New York penthouse to go and be farms people. Of course Lisa's not very happy about it but she does anything for Oliver so it's really funny, really comical and can be really romantic too. And then I also bought from Target for $10 Lord of the Rings War of the North. And it's basically you're playing through the Lord of the Rings story, but you're as like a different set of characters. So like some of the main characters come in and main events and stuff like that, but you're not playing as the main fellowship. Um, which is kind of cool because then you get to see other things that might have been happening and it's kind of a different perspective um, that you get to see through, which is always fun. And I wanted to ask you guys, I've been thinking about doing some gaming videos with these or even like the sims 4 the sims 3 um so if you want me to do any gaming videos they would probably end up being really lame <laughs> um it's mainly just commentary i noticed when i was playing um not the terry potter but the prisoner of azkaban i do a lot of commentary and talking to the tv so i figured maybe if i film myself it'll seem like i'm talking to you guys um but let me know if you want to see any of these games because um, if you do, then I can totally look into uh, doing some of that. Because I think it'd be fun to do a couple gaming videos.
I almost said video games. <laughs> um, and I think that's all I have for you guys today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below. We can start a conversation about the things that I buy for me and for other people. Um, also, while you're down there, hit that button down below. Subscribe to my YouTube Confetti Nation. I will throw as much virtual confetti at you as humanly possible. Also, you guys can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Pinterest, and follow my art artistic adventures on um, Vimeo. And I will see you guys sooner rather than later. So, goodbye.